Howdy adventurers of the Gandhi army. My name is Brady Harp and today we're gonna to be playing some No Man's Sky. Now I know this game had some bad, bad luck in the past, but I thought let's jump in, try this game out. I've always wanted to try this. I've heard it's doing a lot better. So I thought we could play this. Now this game is gonna be my talk series. This is where I'm gonna pick a topic or you guys pick a topic and I just talk. This series also might not be heavily edited. It's just gonna be me talking to you guys. So. This No Man's Sky episode, I wanted to focus on talking about the stress of playing video games that are, are getting the support, but in the wrong way. Now, I just want to stay that this series has been getting a lot of new subscribers that have been supporting the channel and have been sticking with the channel. There is one series, and you guys will all know it, that has been stressing me out, mainly when I like record or stream it. Um, and it's been getting a lot of support in the positive way, but also in the negative way. But this game has also destroyed my analytics and how my channel grows all in general. And that game that I'm talking about is Super Mario Maker 2. Now, I know that uh, I'm really bad at the game and that most people that come in just want me, just want to see me fail. So they'll post levels that are very, very hard or trolly. So they see me rage because I can't get past it or they get upset when I can't get past it. But I want more people that come to the channel to support more in a way of actually sticking with the channel. So I want it to be where you can send me your level and over supporting the channel and staying within the channel. Um, but the biggest problem that I'm having is every time I do Super Mario Maker 2, people are coming, they're subscribing to the channel or liking the, the video, the stream, and then all of a sudden they stay with throughout the whole stream. And I get some people that literally will stay throughout the whole stream, subscribe, and then unsubscribe right after the stream is done. Or they subscribe and then they automatically unsubscribe the next day. And that has been messing up my analytics, messing up the channel, messing up all the things. Like last month we had about 20 people come into the channel that actually had stayed subscribed. We had, I think, five other people, maybe more, that subscribed and then unsubscribed. And of course it messes up with, like I said, with my analytics because it will tell me 30 people subscribed. But then at the end of the month it says only 20 people subscribed. So in my mind I'm thinking, oh, you know, I had 20 people subscribed. But that's not true because some people have left. I'm, I started doing a thing because I got upset with people doing this. If you subscribe, then I will uh, play your levels but now I'm getting more people subscribing to the channel like I said and unsubscribing once again so they come in they subscribe they support the, the videos and then or they get really super annoying I had a couple of kids that came to the last stream and they literally were so annoying they kept saying one two three four five six seven eight and then would just go down and I literally people were like oh you know you could just like uh, unblock them but you know when I'm playing the game and trying to watch the chat, it's kind of hard to, you know, like pause them, pause for a minute and block them for a few minutes and then allow them to come back. And I mean, that I, I don't want to do that in the way because people are just going to be like, if they are dedicated and they want to stay subscribed or about to choose to stay subscribed, I don't want that. I don't want that to happen. But that's the problem I've been having is that people are starting to get annoying with the chat too. I don't have a bunch of admins or whatever you want to call it watching on the channel i only have a couple which is lily and i think adam my friend adam is one and lily doesn't come to um a lot of them she comes well she does come to most of them but she, there's some that she can't make it to so it's a lot harder and adam doesn't come to any besides monday so there's no way that i can have him so i might start looking into bringing some new people in as admins just to keep the chats watched and stuff um but yeah so um there's one kid and i want to bring this up there's one kid that he was stating that he didn't want to subscribe to a channel that he doesn't know the person and in my head i'm like okay then a why are the hell are you watching a another youtuber live play the game you want them to play your level in when you won't even subscribe to them and uh, you only watch the people that you know so there's no point of even watching a, a youtuber that you're just watching because you know you, there's no reason because you're saying that you don't want to subscribe to them and that you only watch your friends so it's like okay that makes no sense at all so um it's just he wanted me to play his level and i know i get that i get that i get that i get that but now uh, it's kind of rolling around onto my fault because there's been a series that I've been trying to do. It's called Not Not Gonna Rage. And can you make me rage? It's like combined. So it's called uh, Not Gonna Rage. And then in like the description, I say, can you make me rage? So people send their super hard levels. But that's starting to bring 
more people that are just trying to post trolley levels or levels that can't be really beat so they're sending in levels that i know that i can't beat or knowing that i'm gonna rage and i know in my head that they're not gonna stay on this the channel because they're not posting a level just to see me play their level they're posting levels to watch me rage so i might have to just end that series um which you know sucks because i want people to see me rage or i want people to i want to see how long i can do this series and have people go oh he's about to rage he's about to rage like last stream i almost raged and i want to have that series where people can do that and plus it'll help with my youtube analytics because when people see a playlist that have that in it then they're gonna watch them all or they're gonna choose to stay subscribed and watch how long it took me to rage but you know if i'm playing your level and i'm raging you know i think it's pretty fair that you show your support in some way whether that be subscribing or liking the video or you know telling your friends in some way i think that's pretty fair if i'm playing your level and most of the time i like their levels so i think it's a fair way that you at least show your support in some way and this isn't the case when i stream super mario maker 2 which is my biggest game that i stream with and most of the views and subscribers i get off of super mario maker 2 but um people are growing off of this game so i don't want to stop it but you know is it in the good way and it's not really in the good way for the most part i probably get two to five subscribers off the daily if i'm lucky um but i do get probably around eight to ten people that subscribe if it's a longer stream but then they leave within the hour or the next day which is super annoying but not only are people subscribing, I've been noticing they're starting to dislike. And I usually only get one dislike, so it's not like a big problem. But I don't, comp you know, if I don't complete their level or I don't feel like it, trust me, the last couple of streams of Super Mario Maker 2 has been at least one dislike. And this is because I say, all right, this is my last go of the level, and then I'm not doing their level because you know i got a bunch in queue so i'm not quitting their level because i'm raging at their level or i'm quitting the level because i'm done with the level i'm quitting their level because i have a big amount in the queue um now let me switch over to talking about the queue now um what i do usually when i start streaming is once we get a bunch of people that are starting to post their levels in the chat um i put it in a queue once the queue gets to 10 levels i choose to play their someone's level for 30 minutes and then um, after that, I move on to the next one. Now, don't get upset because I suck at your level or I can't beat it. If your level is trolly or hard, it will take someone a while to understand how the level works before they can actually beat it. For example, Video Game Donkey, he spent an hour on um, this one level that one of my subscribers actually sent me because he wanted to see me rage. But he spent an hour trying to figure it out. An hour to two hours. That's a lot of time to work on a level. So if I'm spending an hour on a level and I have a big queue, then people aren't going to choose to stay. They're going to just leave, which is not what I want. I don't want that at all. So I, I have to you know switch up their level. I have to make sure I'm playing other people's level. So I give them about a 30 minutes max sometimes i might play a little bit more if i'm almost there i'm almost about to beat it and there's this hair just flopping around um if i'm about to beat it and you know like i said that it's the struggle when you have a big queue and people are getting upset because they're like oh you didn't beat my level oh you suck um and, you know i'm trying to figure out ways to make sure i'm not sitting for an hour but i'm giving it enough time for me to play the level you know if it's a puzzle or if i can't figure out how to beat it then you know that's going to keep new people from coming in or asking if they're going to play their level and now let me just say this i'm getting so sick and tired of people asking me um have you played my level have you played my level if you watch the stream it will show you what levels i'm playing or have played now of course this isn't about the people that generally support the uh the channel I do know some people that support the channel will do this, but they mainly because they are working on another level or they quickly went to go get something to eat or went to go do something real quick. So when they come back, they might not know if I play the level or they might not know if I'm on the same level or what happened. So I, I'm not upset at those people. So the people that generally support my channel, I'm not upset at you. I'm upset at the, the people that are coming to the channel and not even supporting in no way possible got a got nose itch got a nose itch hold on Ugh. um but i have no clue why how to really fix this problem like i said in the past if you subscribe to the channel then i'll play your level i'll put it in the queue now i'm starting to get to the point where people are subscribing just for me to play their levels a new subscriber by the name of uh, retro crumble and some other people have uh, stated that just 
to just make it where you have to at least be subscribed and watch two streams or at least two videos before I can play your level. I totally agree with this. I totally think this is a phenomenal idea, but the problem is that people aren't going to go to two streams or two videos and watch them all the way through, or they're not even going to do that. They're just going to be like, that's bullshit. Just play my level. I just don't understand why you play my level. I subscribed, and then they're going to get upset and dislike it because of that, which I don't really care because those people aren't really going to support the channel. Um, the biggest thing that I'm having a problem with is... Now, the biggest thing I started to think of is what if I do where or what I started to implement into my channel is if you subscribe, then I put it in a queue. But the people that generally support the channel, they will get their levels played first. So it goes the people that generally support the channel get levels first. The people that just subscribe get their levels second. And then the people that. Uh, just like don't even care and just want me to play levels they go third so every time a uh, supportive subscriber uh, sends a level then I'll keep putting their level their levels over the other two people and you know I might switch it in and have some new people if they're you know generally doing it um, and if you're just being annoying in the chat I'm not, not even gonna play your level at all I'm done with that now like I said I'm not saying it completely I will choose if you're being annoying in the chat or if you're just not trying to be annoying in the chat you know what I mean but like I said, most people that support the channel heavily come on most of my streams, and they, they really are supportive of the channel. The only problem is, like I said, uh, one stream might be bad that might turn a new subscriber away. So if I choose to make it two streams or two videos, um, and then I will play your level. Now, people might just say, I watched two of your videos, but then their accounts are privated. Then I can't know if they actually watched two of my videos. Um, I do know a lot of people that su recently subscribe, and it might say, so say we're at, we're at 215 right now, and we, we roll around to 216, and someone says, oh, I watched two of your streams and two of your videos, uh, can you play my level now, or can you play my level on the next two, uh, the next subscribe, or the next stream of Super Mario Maker? I go, yeah, sure, I can play it. Uh, but then how do I know they could just be totally faking it they could just be staying subscribed up until I play the levels and you know it's hard because you know I play Mario Kart 8 which generally gets me one or two subscribers if I'm lucky but that usually those people usually stay if I play Apex I might get a subscriber from there and they usually stay hey there's just one guy named uh, I think it was like JD, JZ Vlogs or something like that and he's still subscribed on my channel he just changed his name recently but he doesn't really come to my videos anymore now of course does he like some of the content that I post I don't know does he watch some of the videos afterwards they're posted i don't know um but you know and it might just be a game that he might just not like so he's not coming um i do have a general a lot of people that are supportive of the channel they just haven't came back or haven't come and watched the channel in a while which is totally fine you know um, michael foot i think is his name he recently came to one of my videos and he usually at the beginning was coming to a lot of my videos so like i said i'm not upset at the people that are supporting the channel or that will come in and out it's more of these new people that are just jokingly trying to make me play the levels so then i I play the levels and then they go <laughs> I'm actually not gonna stay subscribed up by so it, it's annoying it, it's been really really stressful because of that I've been rambling on and on about it and a lot of my streams and a lot of my videos um, so this will determine after maybe one more two more streams this will determine if I keep on playing Super Mario Maker 2 or if I just make it edited format because I'm get, I know it's a series that do very well on my channel. It's been making my channel grow very, very well, and I don't want to stop it. But if it's if it's getting to the point where I can't I can't make content because people are choosing not to stay subscribed or not choosing to support the channel, then I, I can't keep it up because it's just going to destroy my analytics. It's going to destroy my views. It's it's just going to ruin the whole channel as a whole. So right now I have to start thinking about ways I can start changing it and ways I can implement change to that stream. Now of course you know. I, w I wouldn't be upset, you know, if it, say it was Mario Kart and people were coming in and then they would leave, you know, this is the only series that usually gets people that subscribe, I play the level and then they leave. You know, Mario Kart does well, Super Mario, uh, Super Mario, uh, Smash Bros, or whatever you want to call it, that does well, and that doesn't have anyone. Apex did well and doesn't have anyone. Um, there's like videos that I've done in the past that might do all right or might bring a couple people in. Heck, Minecraft was doing well. 
And I brought a couple of people in that actually still, I'm not sure if they still watch it, but they stay and they watch some of the content, which, you know, like I said, is annoying that this game is the only game that I'm getting people like this. And I know the reason why people are doing it. They're doing it because they want people to like their levels so the levels get higher up in the rankings and that they get more likes in the way where they can have more people play their levels and like it so then more and more levels will be viewed and heck who knows they can probably use that as a like social media growth or even a youtube growth hey guys i'm the best mario maker level person on the freaking game so here play my levels and then you know people are going to view that as a good thing um but it, it's annoying it's annoying that people do this and um retro actually said a couple of people do this too and <laughs> retro funny thing was he's like you should make a video a top 10 worst people that have come to your like st your channel and i was starting to do i was thinking about that i was like i should do a top 10 worst moments of super mario maker 2 streams where people come in and i think i might actually do that i think i might make that into a series where I, every time i do a super mario maker stream i'm gonna find people that talk to talk shit about them but the biggest problem is technically if i'm doing that I know those people probably aren't going to watch it, but then technically people are going to see that and they'll go to their channels. They might subscribe or they might show in some way support that channel, which I don't want. I don't want at all. But also, you know, I don't want it in a negative way either. But, you know, it's almost to the point where people, if people are going to act that way, I can't control what people do. You know, if people want to go and if they see them in another stream and they're like, oh, no, I dislike all of his shit. Everyone go and dislike his shit. You know, I don't want that, but it's totally up to the person that is doing it. And it, it's wrong that people do it. But, I mean, it's a way of getting their levels higher up there as well. So, I mean, it is in a good way. It's basically just like if you think about um, previous YouTubers or new YouTubers, they'll usually go on bigger YouTubers and say, Hey, support my channel. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll subscribe to you. And then they're like, support my channel, which is not the case you should not do that because that's not a way to grow because people are just going to come on and dislike your shit don't do that do it the do it in the way of where you're working hard and you can say as my channel my channel was at stuck at 300 and something and now it's starting to grow um but on on and on um but i wanted to make a series where we can just talk about a game or we can just talk about a topic if you guys have any topics you want me to talk about leave it down in the comments down below um, and this No Man's Sky will be this series where I just talk about a certain topic or I talk about a game in general. But uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys join me on the next epic adventure. I'm going to go drink some water or drink some alcohol and cry away my pain. So thank you guys for supporting. I'll see you guys on the next one.